converting between time units on the old and the new style Casio calculator. Firstly, convert 4 hours and 22 minutes into hours. In order to do that, I'm going to press the 4 from the 4 hours in first, and then I'm going to use this time key here. Now it looks like a little circle followed by an apostrophe followed by a double apostrophe. That's the button we need to press. You can see when I press it, it's going to write a little circle next to the 4. That, that represents 4 hours. And then I'm going to type in the 22 and then press that button again. Now on the top display it just draws another circle but when I press equals you'll see it converts it into 4 and then a little circle and then 22 and a dash and then 0 and a double dash. Now that's the notation for 4 hours, 22 minutes and 0 seconds. Now if I want to convert that just into hours which is handy for calculations with time I'm just going to press the symbolic to decimal key uh, that turns it into a fraction of 131 over 30 and if I press it again, I get a decimal, which is 4.366667. I'm going to round that off to three significant figures and write down 4.37. On the new calculator, the process is similar. I'm going to press 4 first. But you can see the time key. You need to access it via the shift button on this one. It's on the plus key. So I'm going to press the shift and then the plus key, which is going to give me that little zero next to the 4. And then if I type in the 22, I'm going to press the same thing, shift and then that plus key again. Uh, pressing execute gives me 4 hours, 22 minutes and 0 seconds. This time if I want it as a decimal, I'm going to have to press the format key and go down to where it says decimal and click OK. And again, it's written it down as 4.366666667, which I can round off to 4.37. Next, convert 4.3 hours into hours and minutes. So I need to go back the other way here. I'm going to start off by typing that decimal number into the old calculator, 4.3. I'm going to press the equal button and then I'm going to press that time key. You can see it just converts it straight away into 4 hours, 18 minutes and no seconds. So I'm going to write down 4 hours and 18 minutes. I don't feel the need to write the zero seconds. On the new calculator, the process is similar. I'm going to press the 4.3. I'm going to press the execute button and this time I'm going to press the format key and I'm going to go down to sexagesimal mode. Interesting name. Just to note that you can get there a little bit quicker if you press the format key and press up because it's the last one on the list. Okay, and that gives you 418 as before. Subscribe to Mr. Tompkins EdTech for more useful calculator videos.